Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we're gonna talk about seed quality and how you can tell you got some fire seeds. But first, show some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also, check out our sponsors, Robert Bergman's ILGM, Mars Hydro, and CMO for all your cannabis needs. Now, the first thing I'm gonna say, and you know what, you guys can argue with me all you want, but you cannot tell the sex of your plant by just looking at the seed unless of course you have a sexing test kit you know argue this all you want tell me oh I'm, I'm a grower of 30 years of experience let me tell you something that doesn't hold any water that doesn't mean crap okay so I will say it again if you do not have a sexing test kit you will not know unless you grow your plant now that we got that part out of the way let's talk about the seed color are your seeds light or dark in color are they tough or do they turn into dust when you press them between your fingers you know that's important that's that's legit stuff that's important all right these are just some of the ways to tell if a seed is healthy and worth growing quality seeds are the key to healthy plants and good harvest now of course while proper feeding watering and good light quality obviously also affect the health and yield potential of your plants starting to grow with top shelf genetics is equally if not more important if you got to have good seeds to get that good harvest you know what I'm saying but how exactly do you tell quality seeds apart from the rest all right so let's talk about the appearance and feel unlike fruits and vegetable crops, 420 plants haven't undergone the vigorous breeding techniques that ensure a stable crop. Now this means that you'll sometimes sow a pack of seeds technically labeled as the same strain, but may end up with very different looking plants. And it also means that the individual seeds you buy from a seed bank can also vary in appearance. The fact that your seeds can vary in appearance has led a lot of growers like in history to think that the size, the shape or color of a seed dictates its quality. And I do not recommend taking the size or the shape of the seed into consideration as the sign of its quality. Some strains just simply produce smaller seeds than others and sometimes the same plant can produce seeds of different size and shape. You never really know. Never just throw away a seed because it's smaller or has a different shape than one another. You know, that, that's kind of dumb. The color and the feel of the seed on the other hand, I mean, can tell you a lot more about its maturity and its potential to germ or grow into a healthy seedling. Mature seeds usually have an outer shell that can vary in color from dark kind of almost black to have very light gray and could have you know those tiger stripes that we all know you should be able to firmly press these seeds between your fingers without damaging them and immature seeds on the other hand tend to be green and have a soft outer shell and they break when you apply any kind of pressure to it like you ever you ever have those seeds and then you squeeze down just a little bit and then they just break obviously that's crap quality right so keep in mind that the simple process of packaging and storing seeds can also affect their appearance Abrupt changes in humidity, temperature, or light exposure can make some seeds appear darker or lighter than others. But ultimately, they're not gonna really have any effect on the quality. Just like animals and other living things, our 420 seeds are biologically different from one another. Even if they're technically the same strain and therefore they're gonna exhibit different physical characteristics. Don't let these natural differences fool you into thinking that, you know, a larger, rounder, and darker seeds is gonna have better quality than a lighter, smaller, and more oval-shaped one. That's not true. Like, I remember the Gorilla Glue that we grew. I mean, the seeds were like super, I mean, really super small and it was like one of the best plants that we ever grew so don't don't ever think that size matters in this case you know what i'm saying I mean, usually it does not not when we're talking about this though anyway you get what i'm saying i had to turn this into a sex thing i don't know never mind you didn't hear anything i just said cut now i mentioned this literally in the first sentence because i kind of had to can you tell the sex based on the appearance absolutely not the internet tells you a whole bunch of BS, all right? I mean, they got people thinking vaccines are safe, so I mean, don't buy into all the internet BS talk, all right? Your seeds are gonna naturally look different, and no single physical trait of the seed can tell you whether that seed contains a genetic for a male or female plant. It's just, it just does not happen. That's why a lot of people have to wait after they pop the seed, they gotta wait like four to six weeks so you can start telling the sex of the plant, because if you can tell the sex by the seed, then you wouldn't even have to wait the four to six weeks, right? <sighs> anyway, that rant is over. 
flower. Okay, the only way to tell that a female plant from a male is by looking at its flowers when it begins to sex. And don't be fooled into throwing out perfectly healthy seeds just because a popular internet forum told you so. And also, don't forget, a lot of these forums are from growers that spend more time on the internet than actually growing that plant, you know? Like, it kind of makes you wonder, like, how reliable are these sources? Have you guys even grown any plants? Like, a lot of these people in the forums haven't even grown anything. They just, like, read off of another forum and it could be complete BS and then they just spill it onto roll it up or you know what whatever forums there are out there so guys don't be suckered into that don't don't be given wrong information and believing it all right so moving on what about bag seed because I get this question like all the time can I use bag seed to grow see this route has always been kind of sketched to me people find seeds in their flowers and they get excited automatically think it's a good thing and the truth of the matter is seeds in your plants most likely means that your plant was overstressed or of course this means means that the grower messed up and allowed their female plants to be pollinated by an invading male. When flowers are pollinated, they stop producing THC resin and divert their energy towards producing seeds. Secondly, the seeds will have added to the overall weight of the bag, which means less bang for your buck, of course. Now, with that said, you may get lucky if the strain they are growing is like super prime, like super fire, all right? Now, the key word here is lucky, all right? <laughs> The one true method to test the genetic potential of a seed is to simply put it in the soil. It won't take too long to see the results. This option is the best for the hobby home grower who has time and space to spare for a risky project. Now, growers cultivating for commercial use likely do not have the extra time to invest. All right, guys, so I feel like we covered a good amount of stuff today. Before we head off, I wanna thank everyone on screen for being a member of our Patreon program. I really appreciate it, and supporting us out there really helps me and the channel out a lot. So I'm gonna close off today's video. Drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content. I hope everyone has a great weekend. We've been having some good weather. Hope you guys getting out there and just enjoying the good weather. Spring is finally among us. So I'll catch you guys next Tuesday. And as always, stay safe. Peace.